Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sir. Hey, what, can you hear me? I can. I can hear you now. Can you guys hear them stream? There he is. I can't. I can. I can hear you. I can't see you. Hold on. Let me get. Let me get back. Let me get on there. Yeah. There yeah, he is. Ah, dude. <laughs> How What's are up, you, man? How are you, dude? Good. I'm streaming too right now. Good. Fucking co-streaming, bro. <laughs> Happy uh, one year, man. Thank you so much, man. It's been a. It's been an interesting ride, as I'm sure you can imagine as well. Oh yeah, totally, man. That's awesome. It's a, It's it's been a weird couple years, actually. <laughs> When did yeah. you when did you start on Twitch? Uh, I don't remember. I think I started bef uh, about six months before the pandemic. Okay. So I think 2018. Okay. Dude, yeah. Crazy man. It's been a yeah, fun thing. It's fun when it, especially when there's nothing to do. It's like a a good pastime to stream. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And you feel like somewhat uh accomplished because you're like okay well didn't just like i did something <laughs> i did something at least like i yeah. entertained someone today yeah it's good how have you yeah, been man. man good yeah i've been just streaming and uh getting ready for this live this live show it's yeah. crazy how fast it changes the world changes and you have to adjust and you know what i mean like yeah. what in the hell but it's, it's gonna be sick yeah, I, I, uh, I wouldn't expect anything less. I mean, I was texting the other day just talking about just the stuff that I've seen with like, you know, just like the trailer and all the fucking merch shit you've been doing. Like, you've never been one to like small scale shit. <laughs> so yeah. I'm definitely excited. I got pumped because, I mean, pandemic started, bands started doing live streams. We couldn't at first because we hadn't announced like the lineup change and any of that shit. So we had to wait like four or five months to do that until like all of that went through and so like i was just watching all of them like what's that band doing like what are they what like cool like just kind of taking notes and like yeah. what i thought worked digitally and worked without an audience it was like entertaining but um like at this point it's like you've they just keep building like you have bands yeah. that are just like like we did ours and we're like oh cool it's like the biggest stage production we've ever done it was like this massive thing like all this cool video content, whatever. But then it's like, you have bands like, um, what's that fucking band that did it on like the bridge in Sacramento dance, Gavin uh, dance. Dance, dance yeah. yeah. They fucking did like, yeah. Like shit like that. Or like, you know, I can only imagine you guys are probably gonna do something ridiculous, but yeah, it's, it's not even, I can't, I, I can't even talk about <laughs> yeah. it. It's crazy. It was very expensive and crazy and it's worth, it's worth the ticket. It's crazy. That's what people it's don't understand is that live streams are not cheap. Yeah, and especially what we're doing, and I can't even talk about it because then yeah. it ruins the idea of it, and then it just doesn't work. Yeah. So it's like you got to see it to believe it kind of thing or be there, you know, but um, it's sick. I'm kind of proud of it. It's not just like a phone it in kind of thing, you know what I mean, where you're, yeah. you play and then you have a camera. It's like uh, the whole thing. Hey, yeah, yeah, I can't say anymore, yeah. actually. I can't. <laughs> Well, you, you have to, like, you want it to be something that you're stoked on later because, you know, you want people to be, feel good about the fact that they like bought a ticket or bought a bundle or whatever. Like, yeah. you don't want to rip people off, you know? Yeah. By the way, I heard your song, the warrior song. Mm -hmm. Shit fucking slaps, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. We're, you can we're... Tell that's like years of being in a band. That's what that is. That's <laughs> years of being in the studio. You know where this goes. You know where this goes. You know where that vocal's supposed to be. That vocal doesn't sound right. We got to change that. It just sounds like very polished and very, like, professionally done. Like, you I know what you're doing. That. I appreciate that, man. Obviously, uh, you know, John Feldman's a good a good uh, man to have behind the wheel, too, in the studio. And, I mean, fuck, 20 years in, you'd hope that we we learned a couple things and oh, yeah, <laughs> it helped dude. that we knew what we were doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. On, on top of Feldman, I, I forgot. Yeah. He's like the best top line. Like he's just comes, it pours out of him as well. Yes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's so like, it's so electric where it's just like bang, 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 bang. Like every day it's like, what are we doing today? What are we doing today? Cool. Boom. I got this idea. Yeah. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Cool. That's the best. Let's work and work on that. Like it's so yeah. just like fucking steamrolls that, weeks go by in the studio and you're like oh fuck we have like 17 songs and yeah what happened like yeah. you know and they're all good somehow <laughs> like i want to hear your new stuff i want to hear the whole thing i know you're releasing a, a whole new thing yeah releasing a record in june i know a dude that can probably um send it to you that'd be nice dude <laughs> i know a guy you guys don't know i've been a fan of uh, trey since i was like i'm not trying to make him feel old how old are you though 37 
we're the same age, bro. You yeah. were doing, you were doing this when we were the same age yeah. and I was bumping you. Yeah. That's crazy. I started, I turned 18 on my first tour. So What's like that? I, fractures in the, uh, fractures the in the first, facade of your porcelain. Holy shit. You're going bro, way I back. To call, I, I know I got it at hot topic. I got that, that <laughs> at hot topic. And I was like, this shit slaps. And, uh, <laughs> I called it, I read it wrong for years. It was, uh -huh. I said fractures in the fakeades of. <laughs> a lot of people like, did that. <laughs> Want to know why? Because like, like 18 year old hardcore kids don't usually use the word facade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. But, it's, but it slapped. I was like, what is this? I was like, back then it, it wasn't really, uh, it was very new. That sound mm -hmm. was so new. Yeah. I was like, what is this, man? Am I supposed to like this or not like this? <laughs> And then I, after a while, I was like, wait a minute. And then you had thrice. I mean, obviously you guys, then fucking under oath. I was like, oh, this is, it's on dude. This is crazy. <laughs> I you feel know? like people still listen to our band. They're like, am I supposed to like this or not like this? <laughs> <laughs> no, you had so many bangers, dude. Thank you, bro. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it's fun, man. It's crazy to still be, to still be going and, and still be growing, you know, like that's a crazy thing to be putting out numbers that are like, you're continually topping yourself this far in like it's yeah. a it's a good it's a good feeling man so we're stoked i mean this year has been fucking crazy for us and i mean we're just like we've been ready to put out this record for a long time but as you know shit takes a while and you got to plan and you know it's yeah you know what's cool is that uh when the whenever this stops i think i my prediction is leader is literally like january of next year mm -hmm. it's just gonna explode you imagine touring and ticket sales for every just everyone in general because no one yeah no one's been able to do anything i will say it's yeah. funny I, we've talked about that where i've talked about you know uh, with a couple different bands I talked to caleb from Beartooth and um shane from uh silverstein like different a like, couple different random dudes and like, even like jacoby of like what do you think is going to be the, the ticket to like because literally you're going to have almost every band on the same album cycle so like everyone's yeah. going to be and i was like i think that like that like stacked bills are going to be the way where it's going to be like before you could roll out and be like oh yeah we're headlining it it doesn't really matter who's who else is on it like yeah we're just gonna go and we're gonna do our numbers but i think like those crucial stacked like old school bills like yeah. I, I was just on matt heafy was just on uh you know like 30 minutes ago and he was talking about the first time he saw treyu in in florida and it was like uh our headline tour with under oath god forbid and darkest hour at the time Jeez. like that lineup is fucked up like shows like that don't happen anymore you know what i mean that, so dude that's such a good lineup dude but so he was like i'm like i think it's gonna be that kind of thing where like people are going to be, it's like putting everything into your live stream. It's like putting on a show that people would never fucking get to see. Cause it's like traveling festival, you know, like small traveling festival. Yeah. But yeah, that's what needs to happen. Absolutely. It's funny yeah. too. Like he comes out of the, the woodwork. I mean, obviously we've done minimal touring together, but we've like, we've done a little bit where it's like, we didn't know that the interest was there mutually until we did it. And then it's like uh, during the pandemic, I've talked to so many bands where you're just like, why haven't we toured? Like, what the yeah. fuck are we doing? Like the fucking ghost inside or like trivium or, you know, like we did a uh, bear tooth did a small run with us, uh, like a few years ago. And it's like, why have we never done more? Like what the fuck is like all these bands that we've never done big runs with it makes no sense. Yeah. Cause they're, it, it, they're winners. Yeah. The, it needs to, I feel like something, not only the pandemic has changed a lot of things. I think I have this feeling that, it's it's going to change the way people tour forever after we come back it's yeah. just it's not i don't feel like it's just going to automatically go all right we're going back to exactly the way we were no. I, I feel like something is something's going to change and and i don't know i don't know what exactly what it is but yeah i think it's going to be a big cool thing absolutely i think anything this year is going to be highly altered like like lower capacities still lots of like restrictions and this and that you could like play shows but it's not going to be like how we used to and i think you're right like next year it'll just come back where people like yeah. can fully like get in the pit again and like yeah yeah i don't want to i don't want to uh do it unless it's that yeah you know what i mean <laughs> yeah it's it's hard it, it's a, it's like a double-edged sword because you want to like go out and do what you what you do yeah but you, but you still like don't want to go out and be like fuck man this is kind of it's depressing yeah 
there's like half the crowds there. They're not even allowed in. I mean, it just doesn't seem, it just seems so depressing that yeah. way, you know? So just put, make it so that the VI, everyone needs to wear a full hazmat. It's clear, <laughs> clear on the front. So you could see them singing along. Dude, everyone's imagine, good to go. Imagine you have to buy that when you get to the merch in the front or whatever. Yeah. You, it's like merchandise. Yeah. A Falling in reverse. Hazmat yeah. Thing. Yeah. Hazmats. So a medical Dude. grade, hospital grade. <laughs> 100% safe hazmat suits. It'd be fucking awesome. I dig it, dude. I dig it. That's awesome, dude. Uh, I feel like I, I, I want to tell a quick story. Uh, Go we, for it. Which is really, it, uh, it's one of the first times we like met, met, but it was in Australia. I think you probably, you probably know the story I'm going to tell. So we, we I don't, get, I, uh, there was there so, so many crazy stories. Yeah. yeah. So we get off stage and we're, or I don't even know, if, I don't think we had played yet or whatever, but we're walking back. And we kind of walk by your dressing room and we're chatting for a sec. And we're like, Oh, what's up, man? Whatever. And like, like, like with a trade, you're like, Oh yeah. We start chatting and we're talking for like 10 minutes. And, uh, and then like maybe 10 minutes in, you're like, yo, like how's Brandon doing? And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> I remember now. I'm like, oh. what do you mean? You're like, Brandon, like the drummer, how's he doing? I'm like, <laughs> That's me, dude. But then I think about it, and you're like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting the embarrassment again. Oh, it's oh. so good. But I'm like, it makes sense, because you're like, bro, last time I saw, like, a photo of you or, like, saw you, you had long hair, no beard. So I'm like, I think you're just some, like, new dude that they just, like, had come in. I don't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> that shit was awesome. Oh, dude. Oh, and yeah. I, I remember that. I remember that night looking. Me and my wife were like in our hotel looking at like old photos of me, and I'm like, that makes sense. I probably wouldn't recognize me either. Yeah, eyeliner. That's that's how I remember you. <laughs> yeah. eyeliner, dude. Black glove, fingerless gloves, <laughs> like sticks and big, like not big hair, but like emo mm -hmm. hair. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like that's what you looked like to yeah. me. I don't know. Well, it's so funny too. Where's Brandon? Yeah, where's we're, Brandon? <laughs> I'm all. I'm, oh, man. I'm here, dude. It's funny because. That's a thing. I feel like people have an image of you in their head and it just doesn't yeah. go, it doesn't go away. Like they see you never. that way forever. Yeah. It's <laughs> like when Tommy Lee cut his hair, like, yeah. and he got like in the nineties, I was like, what the fuck? Like yeah. it did not look normal to me. I know? don't see you or like Metallica. Yeah. People still yeah. see long hair Metallica and they, they're just, they'll never see anything totally. else. Never. That's, fucking a, see anything else. that's a really funny. I, I forgot about that. That's so funny. <laughs> man. Shit was fun. I'll never though, forget. Yeah, now I'll never forget it because yeah, it was like uh it was one of those cringy I was like, oh, like for a couple of weeks, I was like, oh my god, dude, I cannot believe I said that. <laughs> I love it, dude. I, I, I didn't uh I didn't really think much of it. I thought it was just funny. So you're good to go. <laughs> you're good to go. Yeah, we I performed with you that on yeah. the, was that the one where I got to perform? I was like, that's tight. I got to perform my favorite song by you by yeah. you guys or whatever. Yeah, you came out you. and did lip gloss. That was tight. I don't yeah. think anyone saw that coming at all. It was fucking sick. The show was cr like crazy. It yeah. was hot as hell. And there <laughs> yeah. was just so many people like packed in. It was fucking awesome. Yeah, that fucking, uh, that whole festival was gnarly. Cause like we hadn't been to Australia since we did our like hiatus. So it had been like four years, five years. So we didn't know what to expect. And I remember the first day it was like, we went to our stage and uh, I don't remember who played before us, but it was a smaller band than us, but it was like, there, there wasn't tons of people and i was yeah. like oh, and i'm like fuck man like this stage is like way off in the fucking boonies like Bro, this, this and you do that every suck. time yeah you, like, do, this, you, you can't help it i'm like this you do it yeah so i'm like this show's gonna fucking suck so i like <laughs> i like get back i'm like warming up or whatever like having a drink and then we go out and play and i'm like the fuck like people <laughs> over the hill like as far as you can see you're like where did you come from yeah S same thing the show you sang with us it's like this big tent and the band before us was like, it was like, it was the same band. I can't remember who the fuck it was, but it was like, same thing. We're like, oh, this tent's fucking shot. And then yeah. we played and there's like people pouring out of it. It was like 9,000 degrees. My wife put her bag, like her purse in the fridge. Cause her like leather on her purse was like, <laughs> was like mushing. It was so hot. <laughs> <laughs> she just said in the chat, she's like, I had to put my purse in the fridge. Dude, you, dude uh, yeah. As a singer, especially you're like man this show's gonna suck yeah Dude, how many times have you said it's like oh man i don't know about this show you know and then <laughs> yeah, it's like you the never best know shows you've ever played yeah straight up i remember the first time we went to europe and we did it was like grass pop or something one of like the metal festivals 
which yeah. back in the day, this is your vision of B cell. I mean, that's that's eyeliner, freaking emo hair, Atreyu. Yeah. On a metal festival, there was like a there was like the aborted played before us. It was like death metal <laughs> bands, and then yeah. like, and then us in the middle, and the same thing. We had never. It was the first big festival we'd ever played. So you're like, man, this fuck it sucks, dude. Like nobody knows who the fuck we are in Europe. Like why the fuck are we out here, man? Like this sucks. <laughs> yeah. We're like, like I thought this was gonna be big festivals. Like whatever. Heard all this cool shit. And then you go to play and you're like, oh, there's fucking 10,000 people in this tent. Like, where the <laughs> fuck did you come from? Yeah. Where'd you come from? What yeah. the hell? I love that. Fucking shit. awesome. I love, I love Europe, shit. man. I love Europe as well as, as Australia is probably one of my favorite places to go. Mm -hmm. Like, in, I don't know about anybody else, but I've only had good in encounters with the people there. The yes. people are so nice to Americans, man. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's crazy. Like, uh, it, someone told me it's like if somebody if you're in a drive through and you're a stranger and you don't have your car you could just jump in to the car with somebody and order food and they don't like care somebody, and they don't even care it's they're like sure god get on in it's yeah. like what the what you can't do that here you get someone fucking shoot stabbed you. yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah no, not happening yeah they, everything's so they're like they, they're so matter of fact it's so just like okay like yeah sure but whatever it's like wonderful it's, yeah it's fucking awesome see i love australia because we like to trade uh, especially me and dan we're big fans of the what we like to call the placation so like you go somewhere international and yeah. essentially it's just a reason to go on vacation before or after yeah um so australia is great because a nice little midway back from australia is tahiti so i've never been there oh bro so Wait, on tahiti where's that it's like in the middle of the fucking ocean. Next like, to Hawaii ish. Uh, it's further than Hawaii. It's like it's literally almost halfway from Australia back to the States. And then you do a layover in Hawaii on the way back. Gotcha. Um, okay. So the last time we went there, I think it might have been that tour. And me and Dan both went to Tahiti on the way back. And it's like, you're fucking stoked because you just you end up right you end up writing the whole trip off because you had to go there for work yeah, yeah. but like yeah that's the best or like the same thing we'll go to europe and just like always stay later and go to fucking paris for a week or go like dan has family in, in like the south of france they have this fucking sick house like on the beach so it's like you go there for a week just like using it as an excuse to go on vacation yeah. definitely next time you go to australia fucking bring them bring the lady and hit fucking tahiti on the way back Dude, I I want to do that. I want to go to Hawaii, man. I want to go back to Hawaii. Dude, me and my wife have been talking about going to Hawaii for the last fucking seven months. Like, dude, trips are so fucking cheap. It's disgusting. There's like yeah. there's like deals where it's like eight days at a fucking oceanfront five star resort for fucking eight hundred dollars. You're like, yeah, what? Because they they want you to come back. They want you to to, to fucking leave. come. Yeah, they're like, just yeah. just please come here. It's crazy. Yeah. Wait, you live in, in LA. You live I, in California. I live in Huntington, yeah. So Orange County. It's, how's it looking down there for uh, COVID and all that? I mean, H Huntington Beach specifically is pretty harsh with just idiots. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's a lot of just like, uh, you know, fuck. For the lack of, of offending people, just fucking idiots. Like, oh, yeah, somebody's gonna get offended, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah, there's yeah, a, you're, you're, I mean, we had, we were like, we were like real heavy on like Trump rallies for a lot of the time and just like PCH and, and people just like, fuck this, fuck fake, like <laughs> COVID's fake. Like, and like, <laughs> even now, like, you walk down Ma like Main Street and it's like pretty rough, but there's a lot of people that are smart. And I mean, we, we I keep telling people, I was like, we're the West Coast, Florida. Like, everyone at the beginning was like, Florida was just shitting the bed. And then yeah. it's like, we like saw it and we're like, oh, that seems cool. Let's do that too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's not it's horrible. Crazy. Shit's starting it's to crazy. open up. Yeah. It feels like it. Uh, surely you said Cali is bad. It's not that bad right now where it's, I'm at. It's not horrible. Uh, it's not horrible. Like it was though. Yes. I think the it vaccine's was, been helping a lot. Yeah. It was terrible. Like uh, three months ago, it felt, it, it felt weird. It yes. felt for like a while, actually, you know what I mean? Like it, did not feel normal like no. at all well because you you got used to everything and then things started opening up again and like and being then, somewhere yeah. normal but then out of nowhere in southern california especially it was i felt like it was like wait what happened like this seemed yeah. to be getting better and then it just was like eh, nope 
Yeah, we were one of the first uh, states to close. It was New York and then California, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. It was kind of weird, yeah. man. It's definitely, uh, yeah. been, definitely been strange. I definitely want yeah. a vacation for sure. I went to the beach here, uh, uh, like Palos Verdes yeah. area and Malibu and all that, like uh, Santa Monica. Like mm -hmm. people are wearing masks. Yeah, on the beach, especially on the beach, uh, especially not on the beach. They are yeah. or aren't. They aren't. Yeah, Nobody no. Is. Yeah, no. In Huntington either. Like it's probably 50 50 people walking around mass. I think people just think they're like, oh, we're outside. So we're fine. It makes me feel better in a way because it makes me feel like some sort of normalcy is coming back. Yes. And, you know, you got to tiptoe into it kind of thing. You know, I, sure. don't, I don't know. I, I feel like I had COVID though. Did you I, get COVID? 100%. I got it in December. I got it right before Christmas. I got it. Oh, this December. Yeah. I feel like I got it on my the tour before COVID hit. Really? I was I was coughing for two weeks. I I, I just remember because we didn't know what COVID was. And I just remember being like, damn, dude, this is the longest cough I've ever had. And then, yeah. you know, you're not scared because you're like, oh, whatever. Yeah. You know, and I, I was I'd sleep for like nine hours. I yeah. was on tour. And I just remember very distinctively like damn dude we're fucked up you know like <laughs> yeah there was a couple of us really fucked up and then you know i got over it and then boom COVID hit you know yeah that shit's fucking whack i see i got sick we got we were in australia when COVID hit and we're like in australia being like damn I'm glad we're going home because fuck that's just probably not gonna hit us <laughs> yeah. and then didn't didn't happen but i got sick as fuck when i got home but i get sick every time i travel international like i get home and the next day i'm sick for like three or four days like yeah, every when, it's from flying and shit and yep surface or chain uh elevation changes yeah. or temperature all that stuff yeah for sure um so i got sick then but it wasn't it was just like whatever and then we were super fucking good the whole time and we saw like we had a very small circle of people we saw and then I think I ended up getting it. We have a from our we have a nanny like that's like comes to our house once a week, and I think I got oh, it no. from her because some friends of ours she also nannies for them, and like their mom got it was a fucking dumb thing. But I got it literally right before Christmas. How was it for you? Uh, was not, it like they say, not horrible. I'm stoked that it was not horrible. I just had like flu symptoms, like a fucked up headache, um, like body aches, and just like tired. For like yeah. four or five days. And then I was just like bored and pissed off in my bedroom for the other week that <laughs> I was. you couldn't go anywhere. No. And like, I didn't even go like, dude, I did Christmas through my sliding glass door. Like, oh, you my... had to spend Christmas like that? Christmas and New Year's. <laughs> that sucks. Bro. Yeah, it, it was, it was dog shit. But yeah, but I mean, my wife didn't get it. My mom was in town. She didn't get it. My kids didn't get it. That's so weird how that works too. Like, yeah. Like, how did they not mean? get it? How do you get it? Yeah. But then, you know, like, this is like a repeating thing I've noticed. Like, yeah. Sleep, people sleeping next to each other in bed and, and shit Straight like up. that, man. Yeah. It makes no sense. Like, Kissing you each other. Yeah, shit, you're like you know. touching mouths. You're doing everything that is supposed to give you COVID. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. I think certain people just have like, div like blood type I've heard is like a factor. And yeah. just like certain people's immune systems are just fucking stronger who knows but like yeah. my wife had zero like not even a symptom nothing and she we all got tested in the house just to see was she negative like, yeah, negative my mom was negative Dang. everything so like nothing never no one else ever got it and you were positive that's so weird and man. i took three tests and they were all all positive because i was like that's fake that's fucking bullshit <laughs> like that's false positive and then i took another one and was like damn it and then i took another one and was like fuck damn it <laughs> Damn it. I'm going to my bed. Yeah. yeah. So I just sat in my fucking bedroom for two weeks. It's crazy, man. Yeah, it was lame. Wild. It was lame, dude. My wife's in the chat going, and then? Because <laughs> literally, I had COVID. Uh, and then the day after I got, or the day I got clear of COVID, got a negative test, we went up north to this, be uh, like a beach house that's in our family in Cambria. And I yeah. fell on a glass and just almost killed myself. And what? Like, yeah. I, went, I stepped over a baby gate and I had a glass in my hand and I tripped and I fell on it. And like, I don't know if you can see my, like cut my oh entire. Oh my God, that's fucking gnarly. Yeah. Cut my entire arm. Like, it looked like someone hit me with a machete. It was it. That, that's a main vein right there, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Like instant. So it was like, it was kind of squirting a little bit. Instant blood fucking everywhere. Like oh my. <laughs> emergency surgery. Like, did you, would you feel, did you feel kind of woozy? Fuck yeah, bro. 
<laughs> That's so scary, bro. Oh, yeah. I felt fucked up because not only did I lose a shitload of blood, but as soon as they got into the ambulance, they gave me like three doses of fucking uh, like uh, fentanyl or some shit. <laughs> oh, my God. That's like the that's killing everybody. Yeah. Like on the streets. Right. Yeah. But uh, so I, I, I was fucked up. But yeah, I'm still, I still I have this dumb like fucking Robocop brace that I wear in my hand because my pinkies, my pinkies still numb and like my fingers are all like I have to do physical therapy and shit. Dude, you got stories for day, crazy stories for date, bro. Your year is like fucking Terminator 2 Judgment Dude, Day, bro. What in the hell? Check this out. It doesn't end there. So you'd think it ends there. But then I think I think it always comes in threes, right? You have to get something bad happens in threes, then you're good. Right. So, so like uh, last weekend, we're at our friend's house, and you walk into their house, and it's like a big um, like courtyard in the front with like a pool and like all that stuff like in the front of the, in like the front of the house and their big umbrella was like fall fell in the pool. So I'm like, Oh cool. I'll just grab it out real fast. Like being a good guy. And oh, I, no. went, I went to step backwards. What I thought was ground and just fell in the pool, but just <laughs> fell, but just fell on my fucking ribs, like on the side of the pool. Oh my <laughs> God, bro. Nothing broken, just bruised. But I like fell. My wife comes out and I, and I immediately just go, I'm fine. No, I'm good. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm okay. I'm uh, nothing. I'm not nothing broken. I'm good. Oh <laughs> so, my yeah. gosh, man, yeah, that's tight. But since then, dude, I'm cruising. I'm, you need I'm, to play drums and you need to sing, so you can't <laughs> keep. You can't do that, dude. That's what everyone, literally everyone, was like. Like when I cut my hand open, they're like, "Fuck, man, at least you don't need to play drums." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, dude, good point. <laughs> good point." Yeah. It's crazy, I, dude. I want to hear your other song, but that warrior song. A warrior song is so big. As yeah. a songwriter, as a songwriter, I fucking it's I love it because I it's like damn dude, the top lines man, <laughs> so good. Thank you man. Really? There's some there's some fucking there's some big some big songs on this record. I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll send them to you. <laughs> this dude in my chat, Ethan, goes, "Would you say you were falling in reverse when you fell in that pool?" <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, I was falling in reverse. Dude, but- there's there's. There's a lot of good bands, but there's not a lot of good live singers in a sense of, I'm not talking shit. I'm saying that a lot of good singers though, but there's a lot of exceptionally good live singers and you are one of them. Oh, dude. Like Thank beyond you. a shadow of doubt. Let's, I'm not even here to kiss your ass. I'm just telling you, <laughs> i tell you like it is, man, straight up. Thank you, bro. There's no, there's no, if you weren't, then I wouldn't say anything. I just change the subject or something. <laughs> I'm all, dude, have you seen this live? How do we sound? You're all. Yeah, man, Twitch is crazy. So. <laughs> uh, no, I appreciate that, man. I think much like yourself, you know, you know that though. I'm I, I am confident in my abilities. Yeah, but it's because for the last twenty years, I have constantly just always tried to get better. And exactly. I mean, you, I think you have the same exactly. same mentality where it's like you just keep going, and you're, I'm never satisfied with my level of where i'm at and but there's one thing that you can't you're born with it too some people i know that are that are that aren't born with it you can clearly see it that they're not born with it and they try and they try they're good you just have this uh, projection that's Mm -hmm. like you could you can boom your voice out you know i'm a big vessel you're a big boomer. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Our, we're, yeah, we're big boomers. Literally big boomer. <laughs> no, it's, that's true, though. I mean, uh, sometimes you just, you know, you are. I think most dudes that are in bands or do this for, for a living have some sense of, like, the fact that they're just kind of, like, that was me- that's what they were meant to do. Yes. Um, and I think yeah. that, I think, I mean, I've always felt that way with with singing more than drumming. Like, I'm confident in my abilities as a drummer. I'm a lazy ass drummer. So like my wife was always like, you're good at drums, but if you actually give a fuck, you could like be stupid at drums and, and like, but like you just play, I'm not the no, dude. It's that, style, but I'm not, bro. It's style. It's just, I, I play how I like to play. I'm not like the dude that's like, I have to learn all these things and fucking, yeah, I need well, to get that, better. That would my... dampen your creativity. Yes, exactly. And I'm a very off the cuff kind of dude. Like, I don't know if you've done this too. I mean, obviously like you've written songs with people and during COVID, like I've done very minimal sessions like over zoom because I kind of hate it because that I just like being in a room with someone to get like yes. a spark of energy. And then you just run on it. And then yeah. a few hours later you have a song. It's like, don't fucking think just go. Cause uh, it, yeah. The, the zoom disconnects you from the, from the feeling. And then you start second guessing everything for sure. Cause you're talking over people and it's like, ah, but I mean, 
so I'm the, I'm the, the same way. That's how I play drums. That's how I write too. It's like a lot, every fucking Atreyu song that we've written in the last, at least, I don't know, really since, since like the last three records have been kind of just like, don't overthink it. Just like write the song. Like, especially with Feldy, like we go in in the morning and it's like, what do you want to write about today? And it's like, I have this, this hook idea. It's like, that's dope. Let's go. That's the, that's the most important part. Yeah. What are you doing? What do you feel right now? What do you, how you, what do you want to do right now? Go do that. Like uh, we're, we've never been that band. I've never been that writer that just like, or that performer for, for, for as well. That dude, sim- simplicity is the key, dude. You, yeah. you know what I mean? Like that, your warrior song is, is super simple. Yeah. It's very simple. Absolutely. And people think just cause it's simple. It's like, Oh, whatever. No, I want to see you write it. Exactly. You can't just cause it's simple. It doesn't mean it's easy to write, man. That shit's fucking hard to do. That yeah. takes years of, of doing what you do to understand that, you know, for sure. For sure. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely send you some shit. I'm, um, love to hear what you think for sure. There's, there's some fun shit on there, man. There's, I mean, uh, I get it. Like you guys are a band that does, that does the same kind of thing where you just always do whatever the fuck you want to do. Like, yeah. You fucking put out, well, I mean, I was put out hip hop you. tracks, you, but I'm saying you put out yeah. hip hop tracks. You're like you do whatever the fuck you want to do. And that's badass. That's- and people talk shit on it. It's always the shit that people talk shit on most that like does the best. Every song we've ever done, people are like, fuck you. And people are like ripping us online. I'm like, this song's gonna be huge. Like, yeah, that's how, bro, that's how it works. Yeah. Yeah. It's just they don't understand. And then they no. then they're late to the party and then they, they try to put you in a box and then they can't. So then they're scared. And you know, there's a whole thing that you can go into. But yeah, a good song is a good song, bro. If exactly. I like it, I don't like anything, bro. I don't like <laughs> As a singer, like I know you, I know I like my certain things, but like as a songwriter, you kind of jaded in a sense of every time you hear something, you listen to it differently. Yes. Like what it could have done or what it could have been or what it, yeah. it should have went or something, you know? Yeah. So when I just hear something, I'm just like, oh, wait, that's this awesome. is exactly what it should be. Yeah. Then, that's how it's supposed it, to go. So, I mean, yeah, I think it's fucking awesome. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I, I think that it's funny too, because you have a lot of people like, I think that's why like genre wise, we've, continue to expand because you start thinking about the way we wrote songs when we were like 18 is a fucking mess. It's just like how many yeah. fucking guitar riffs can I throw into a <laughs> slam into four minutes? And like the chorus doesn't happen until three minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> like why is there two bridges? Yeah. You know, like what is the <laughs> two bridges? Yeah. Let's do an outro riff that hasn't happened yet. You're like, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> it's like ADD, you know? So it's like, you think about like, I don't want to do that anymore. This dude posted something. It was like in some sort of comments on one of the things we released. And he was like, Oh dude, like haven't been following your band for a while, but like this new shit sounds cool. But like, you should ditch the screaming, man. That shit's fucking, that shit's fucking amateur hour. And I'm like, this dude kind of gets it. Like I like screaming vocals. I like heavy shit still, but it's funny for like an adult to be like, Oh, you guys are still doing that. That's funny. Like, (laughs) yeah. screaming it, it's dope but when you've been doing it for 20 years it's like you got to try to reinvent it and it's hard and it's a, it's, like, it's a tool it's yeah a, it's, it's not a it's not a main it's not a main thing you know aren't you mean? so glad that you focused on being a great singer yeah not just being a, the screamer guy because all the screamer guys right now that aren't singers are trying to sing yeah and they got about you got about 20 years on them yes you, you know what it, i mean it's harder and trust me like the screaming thing luckily like our bass player porter like he's taking over the lion's share of that but i mean and i but i'm doing some of it and then like it is definitely a new skill to like have to kind of like learn and hone in on but at the same time it's not fucking as hard as like singing like i'm glad that i started focusing on this shit when i was like 15 you know like in key too yes in key yes while playing drums you know what i mean (laughs) Yeah, dude, it's definitely a it's definitely a thing. But yeah, I mean, I guess going back, thank you, thank you for the kind words. Yeah, <laughs> dude, you know, I we need to we. I feel like I've become a great song. I feel like I was always a good songwriter, but I just become even better as as you have with age. And I feel like if we went together and wrote a song together, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, what if you wrote a song together? Yeah. What 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 would happen? You know what I mean? Uh, either either. Cause you write you your melodies are exact. I'm like, this is sick. You know what I mean? You got Bon Jovi. I know you're inspired by Bon. You got to be <laughs> inspired by these big choruses. I, I could. Yeah. It's very obvious. You we, know. Uh, my mentality has always been like, I don't, I, I don't fuck with a B side chorus. I want every chorus to fucking explode. 
period. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's the most important part of the song. That's what everybody's waiting for. Exactly. Because if you have like a mediocre verse, you know what I mean? You're like, you're like, but the chorus is good. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. people, are wait, people are waiting for that big ass fucking chorus. You exactly. Know what I mean? It's a Tom Petty rule. Don't bore us. Get to the chorus. Yeah. Yeah. And he had the best choruses for like fucking 45 years. Or something. <laughs> yeah. Straight up. Straight up, <laughs> the universe would rip if you did something together. That's what's Everybody's too much. In my so. chat, type yes in the chat if you want uh, me and Brandon to write a song together. I think it's gonna be a lot of yeses. I'll say I'll say that in my chat as well. I'll give me some yeses. Yeah, I'm just trying to find out who says no so I can ban them. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking gone. <laughs> oh yeah, lots of yeses over here. That's another person I I want to throw in the mix too jacoby is another uh, longevity oh, guy man that he's motherfucker one of the nicest people. he inspires me so much too man straight up P personality wise he i have changed never me. go ahead sorry he changed how i i per i act on stage not how i perform i still march around like an it you know what i mean like this broadway <laughs> <laughs> like thing but, <laughs> but uh the the way i act and the way i talk to the crowd like i don't have this like tough guy like fuck you I, I just i saw him play once and i was like he's so nice that's like that's okay yeah. man it's okay to be nice i mean you could let your guard down a little exactly. bit you know what i mean exactly he's, he's amazing he's so he's, inspiring he is like everything he does and, and it's funny i've i've talked about because he, he he does a he sings on a, a track on, an, on the new record and as well and he's like I, I talk about him and i'm like yo he's the one of the only human beings i've ever met that you hang out with him and you're like Oh yeah, you're. It's not you're. The way you sing makes perfect sense. Like you, he's just a projection of his personality. Like you hear it, in yeah. Him. You see it. Like yeah. the dude is such a good dude. Like a good hang and a good conversation. And just like I've had so many just like good conversations with the dude where he like legit cares about shit. He cares. You know? It's another one. He inspires I mean, me to 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 try to do the same thing. And that is so such an important thing, man. Absolutely, I agree. And honestly. I don't know if anyone could touch him as far as frontman. Like, bro, he's, he's how old is he? He's in his forties, bro. He's like, bro, he slaps live. Crazy. I, we, just did, we did a tour with him and a date member, and it was fucking sick, dude. I'm like, same. Ripper. It's unreal. Like, still, he he's out performing, and it's funny because he was he, we we talked we we hung out, but I don't know, four months, oh, four or five months ago, and uh, they were working on some music like kind of near me and. I went to the studio and we're sitting there, we're talking, whatever. And it was right kind of when we were going through the, the transfer with me coming up front. And he's like, yo, he's like, fucking, fucking go time, dude. He's like, giving me this like pep talk without even trying to just like, fucking, you got the energy, bro. I've seen you do with Heller High Water and you're going to fucking, he's like, just hyping me up. So internally, I'm like, fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> and like, and, but, but I'm like, bro, like, you want to know who I'm getting hyped up on is you like, he's like a coach, man. And he's like, he's like, I, he's like, I'm out here. I got to keep up with all these young bucks. I'm like, bro, I'm the young buck. That's trying to keep up with you. You <laughs> yeah. straight, straight yeah. up. Like he's, that dude's a fucking powerhouse. It's insane. Hey, yeah, yeah. And when I saw him too, I was like, this dude, you don't realize how many songs, you know, by that band until they play live. Like, how am I singing every I'm singing every song. How do I know this? I don't even remember knowing this. You just yeah. know every song, you know. Yeah. That's, That's another key is um, the the songs, man. The songs that are big. You need yeah. big songs. And they have that. You know what I mean? So Yeah. We have – I mean, it, our set list at this point is hilarious because it's like we play – we play – we're a, a band that, like, always kind of gives the hits, you know? Like, we'll, we'll pick a deep cut or two, you know, per tour to, like – throw a bone to like the people that really dig that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like, bro, we can, we got fucking 15, 17 songs. We could play that. Like everyone there is going to know. That's so uh, important. It's man. like, or like your festival set. You're like, cool. Like we got 45 minutes at a festival. Just give them the fucking, the beaters. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Yes. That's why, yes, that's, that's why Papa Roach is a festival band too. Like Papa Roach is worth fucking 10 times what they're worth any other plays at a festival because everyone at that motherfucker knows, knows every the songs. song. Yeah. Cause they get played on the radio for like 25 years yeah. with every new song. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. People don't sing riffs, man. People don't sing parts. They just know fucking good songs. That's another Feldy thing too. Feldy's like song is King period. Like if a tray, wants to write a K-pop song and it's the dopest K-pop song that anyone has ever heard. And I'm singing in Korean. 
People are gonna like it because okay. it, it's great. Straight yeah, it has, up. Your identity, you're not, you're not, your identity has nothing to do with your John. Like that's what I always said. Like that's so ridiculous. Like, yeah. well, you're supposed to. Nah, man, I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to write a good song. That's it. Straight up. That's it. I mean, that's you know? what. I, and like you've, I mean, I've, I write so much music aside from Atreyu, and like I started releasing a lot of it. I have a project called American Gentleman, and it was like a sync project. We do music for like TV, film, and commercials and shit. And we've been doing it for like four years and I, we started releasing all the music and pe it's, it's still flies kind of under the radar, but it's like, people hear it and they're like, what? Like, this is you. Like, it's just like pop music and like different, like, like hip hop and like pop shit. And it's like, yeah, I don't just listen to fucking rock music, but I love doing that shit. Like I love, I just want to fucking put out good songs period. Yeah. You know, that's, yeah. All, I, that's it, all I'm concerned with. That's why I added rap to it, man. I love it, dude. I, I, I got to rap a long time ago. I got to send you I got to send you my fucking hip hop shit. I would love to hear it. Yeah, I've added rap to it because I wanted a uh uh something different, you know what I mean? Like instead of a metalcore bridge or something or like yeah. a metalcore, you know, it's just something different, man. Dude, you I know? wanted to the first time I heard Alone. Like I hate that song. Oh my god. It's so, oh god, it's fucking terrible. Good chorus. Horrible. Oh my god. Great, I'm embarrassed already. Great chorus. I'm saying though. But let, oh. let me let me tell you what I, let, let me explain though. So it came in and I was like, okay, cool. Like I wasn't not, not what I'm expecting when I when I'm yeah. listening to your band. And then you come in with fucking with line number one. Ugh. And at first I go, I, at first I'm like, okay. Like that's like, <laughs> all right. And then I'm I'm listening. I'm like, oh, he's straight up fucking rapping on this song. And I'm like, and then I'm watching the video. I'm like, oh, this is like a fucking rap video. Chorus come, slams, goes back in. And I'm like, and then I listen to it again. And I'm like, I, I fucking, I, okay. Like, I'm on board. I'm full. I, like, it was one of those things at first where I was like, I don't know about that, bro. And then it was like, nah, I think I'm just on board because fuck it. Because, yeah. because much like a, mi a million other people, I'm sure, just... I, the lyrics I are, bro, I'd be sitting there and I'd be like, oh, I don't want to hear that phone. I want to do that fucking rap song. Like it just would yeah. keep coming in my head. And it and yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it has like nine fucking gabillion streams. And it was a massive song for you. Like Yeah, but it's it's so knuckleheady, the the lyrics. I know there's like that Molly Percocet song that's yeah. like by future. I mean, it's massive. And those I'm I'm sure he's not cringing. I, I think I think he doesn't care. <laughs> I think that's his mentality is how he is. So yeah. for me trying to like elevate myself and all that stuff and the ego and all, I just, it's so cringy looking back and like Ferrari. Uh, it just, it's not my, <laughs> I was mad. I, I was really angry and all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. And it helped. It yeah. helped because it solidified me to be able to, to put rap. If I didn't put rap till now, then I'd get way more judged. Oh, you'd be getting shit on super hard about it now. Yeah. Way worse. Thankfully I took the shit back then. Now yeah. it's like, Oh yeah, he could do that now. Yeah. And now the lyrics aren't talking about shit and pampers and fucking, oh, God, dude. <laughs> What's your cringiest lyric that you look back on? Oh, fuck, dude. See, here's the thing is like lip, up until lip gloss and black up until like more it, recently, though. I didn't. Alex wrote all the lyrics. I started I started into uh, contributing to lyrics like on. On Long Live, like on like two albums. OK. Ago. And like kind of on on lead sales but like that was always kind of like his thing it was like he held it sacred to him and i was like and he did a great job but like there's def he was very poetic about shit even like lip gloss i, I remember like y years ago we he had to like his he like his grandfather or something passed away and he flew home for the funeral and we had dudes in the, on the tour sing for him for just one show it was like we're on our headline tour and every one of the singers came back into our dressing room, like after they had picked a song and we're like, yo, this is like pages of lyrics. How does he do this? Like, how does he do this? I'm like, that's just his style. It's very like storyteller, like poetic almost, you know? Yeah. But uh, so I never like w we have a couple of back from the day that are just hilarious because they don't make sense. Yeah. Like, like the, in the song, The Crimson, I sing Crimson and Red. That's fucking redundant as fuck yeah. oh i didn't think about that that's think about that also there's red a song and red. <laughs> yeah straight up as we're done in as fuck there's another song where i say in uh, x's and o's where the word is pronounced digress but in the studio i sang degress 
and that's uh-huh. not even a word and it's on the record bro and no one was like yo that's not how you say that word you should sing it correctly it's just <laughs> yeah. there i have little moments like that but you know what i think if i would have started rapping like five years ago six years ago i probably would have way more cringy moments because it's hard yeah. it's rapping hard. is it's yeah. different you think you're good at rapping way before you're good at rapping yes <laughs> I was rapping in high school, and the reason why I did the da 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 because I wanted literally everybody to hang on to every word. Yes, I could have been like stacking every little pretty pretty. I could have did all of that stuff. Yeah, but it wouldn't have hit. It wouldn't have been like na 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 na. Yeah, I wanted you to literally hear what I'm saying, and it's, it was it's bonehead. All cringe. It, but it's but but dude, bonehead sometimes big, bro. I, this isn't the shit talk. Five finger death punch. They're fucking oh. huge. They're the most bonehead everything band. Pantera. Pantera. It's meat and potatoes. Yeah. Meat and fucking potatoes. Easy to swallow. Fills you up every time. You know, yeah. it's like, dude, just like, there's nothing wrong with that. It just is what it is. If, if there is if you continue to do it. <laughs> like the, <laughs> the next song <laughs> yeah, is yeah. like. You can't only do that. Yeah. No, no, no. Then, then you're like, then you're essentially... 50% of the modern era of rappers. I always, I always convince myself that I'm like, nah, it's cool, man. I have a couple of cringy. There's a, I have a good amount of cringy songs because that's what happens when you're young and you write and you write everything and then all that stuff. Yeah. But then I look back on Motley Crue and read some of their lyrics. I'm like, these like, are fucking <laughs> horrible. Yeah. This what shit is, is dumb. About smoking <laughs> meth dude what, what do you mean smoke? <laughs> yeah. He's literally talking about smoking meth. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, I get it, man. Write what you live, but fuck. <laughs> Did you ever have a moment where you were like, fuck, man, now I got to wear Gucci shoes like all the time. I got to. Yeah. Or, I, yeah. or, or I'm going to fucking get it. I'm, I'm, uh, people are going to be like, oh, you fucking. I, yeah. I got to yeah, wear fucking. God, Gucci sneaks, bro. Get out of here, dude. dude. <laughs> classic, bro. It's a classic. Like, my chat's like, no, it still slaps, though. <laughs> You still fucking probably play that song live, and it goes hog wild. It does. It, it is a big song live. I've noticed. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It goes crazy. It's all the weirdest ones that you like. Don't want to play that. Right. Get fucking huge. You know. Yeah. Imagine but, how Blink One Eight Two feels about uh, playing "Damn It." <laughs> yeah, straight up. I'm like fuck. You're just like. You're like fuck. Damn it. Yeah, I feel that way about, and I always Dan hates this because it's it's that's his song, right side of the bed. Almost everyone in our band's like song that you wish you don't have to play every night. Everyone's like right side of the bed. Dan's like, hey, but it's just that song. We've literally played that song every fucking show since it was released. Period. It's huge though. Yeah, but it's it's massive. Like that's what people know yeah. of our. You say the word "atray," you they say right side of the bed, becoming the bull, lip gloss and black. Now they're like, time is now. You know, like you know what I mean. Like more modern, but it's like. It's just it fucking. Feels in good there. to to be modern and on the radio and and I love after twenty shit. years, huh? fucking awesome it's fucking crazy we we keep having like big i mean back in the day like lead sales that was our first introduction to being on the radio and we had top five singles at active and alternative at the same time bro that shit was so sick when that album came out i was yeah. fucking stoked a lot of people were mad nah bro yeah. you guys were bigger than you ever were at that point and uh for sure it was because of how good the songs were period in the story that's you know where I mean? that's where that past started for us. You know what I mean? That like let's let's stop pussyfooting around and like kind of writing some big rock songs and like being bashful about it. I feel like Death Grip had those moments that were like some rock moments, but they're still kind of bashful. It's like, oh, we have to scream a little bit in the verse or we have to whatever. Let Sales was the first thing that was like, whatever suits nope. the song, period, that's it. That's all. Yeah. Um, but I mean I, I like the one like a rising tide. I love yeah. that song, that one. Oh, yeah, with the with the full time or the double time, I think. Yeah, was yeah, it? yeah. With two or yeah. one, that's Just a ripper. Laugh. That that wasn't even a single, but that's another one that's like every fucking show that's in the live set. Like it has to be. Yeah. Uh, when but, I first heard, it, I was like, "Yep, there it is. There it is. <laughs> this is something new. I haven't heard to try you sound like like this. This is like yeah. a different. It was the tones of the guitars, the tones of the drums, yeah. the the the, the uh, vocal, whatever." Feldman did with your vocal like processing and all that it was just it sounded like uh polished and it sounded fantastic for sure that's the first record we've done that I like love the way it sounds dude like to this day like you hear you go to festivals and fools like fucking tune the PA with those songs 
And yeah, I'm like, well, that's mixed fucking... fantastic too. Yeah. Andy Wallace, bro. <laughs> Dude. Andy Wallace is a killer, dude. Legend. Spent so much money on that mix, but it was worth it. <laughs> yeah. Was he like seven grand of a song or something? It was like he mixed 13 songs. I think it was a hundred grand. Okay. Like, pretty much. Yeah. He was usually yeah. 10K a song, but he like did us a solid. And we we're like, <laughs> yeah, that's but fucking awesome, man. Shit was tight. Let's, so dude, speaking about, I mean, speaking about fucking huge songs, what the fuck? Do you ever sit back and go, what the fuck happened with Popular Monster? How, like, are you ever like, what the fuck is going on with this song? Like, it just doesn't stop. Yeah, it does. it's still number one right now on Apple Music. I kept thinking I was getting repeat. I'm on, I get like the, the Downies uh, fucking email things every week. And and uh, I thought I kept getting repeat emails. I'm like, <laughs> there's no way this song is still number one. It's been like o- over a year. Well, I released this, the, the, this album called Coming Home that nobody yeah. cared about. And it did not do that well. All the older people were like, this is amazing, but nobody, like, it was not that good. So I was like, fuck this, man. All right, it's time to, it's time to do something different. Started with losing my mind, losing my life, and then drugs. And I think those things led up to Popular Monster because yeah. I started seeing the influx and in streams and going up rapidly on losing my mind and losing my life and then drugs. I was like, oh, shit, it's getting, it's starting to peak. And then Pop Monster I was like, oh, my God, never mind. You yeah. know, so. And then the drug of me is reimagined and then people saw his softer side, you know, for sure. Like, okay. This guy can really sing. And then it just kind of like went from there, you know? Yeah. So. The reimagined shit's dope. I love that. Like there's something to that, that just like, especially when you go fucking full movie production on the video for, yeah. Uh, but like, it's shit's awesome. It's so funny. This is totally randomly off topic, but it just took me that, you know, when you're on your phone and you go to like log into a website and like the captcha security things that are like, I'm not a robot. Yeah. Um, all I think every time is I'm not a robot, but I feel like one. <laughs> I got a full sleeve of robots. I love robots, <laughs> man. It's tight. It's like my main thing that I paint. I like I have this little character, just like a little fucking simple, sketchy robot dude. That's like my main little guy that I paint. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a vampire revamp. That one was full movie score, and someone in the comments was like, "All right, man, he's just showing off now." And that's literally what it was. It was just <laughs> I, I wanted people like, "Hey, look what I can do!" And straight up, you know. I'm not going to do that for a while. I don't think uh, I'm going to, I can't talk actually. I don't, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, you're all... I, I forgot, dude, there's something's there's coming, pe- dude. It's there's people tight. here. <laughs> yeah. I love that though, dude. I, I, it's, it's, it's a fun time. Like it's a, it's a creatively uh, fulfilling time for sure. Like yeah. we were going to wait to put out this record. Oh, space zebra world dropping a fiver. Fucking good ass dudes. Oh shit. Bobby. Uh-huh. Yep. The fucking homies. Um, so uh, we were going to wait and we're like, Oh, we're waiting until we can tour again. And then it was like, dudes, if this was our last record, I'd say that if it was like, this is it, we want to, it has to be, we want to go out the bang, but we're all sitting there and we're like, yo, we could go back into the studio tomorrow and write another record. Like we're all fucking fired up. Like we, we feel good about what we're making. So it's like, do it. And then if touring comes back three months after, and it's like, you want something new, let's just fucking do it again. Like give yeah. the people what they want. Like we have fans yeah. out there that are like, give me your music. And yeah. that's, that's another thing that I've learned. I was like, I'm not doing albums anymore. I'm going to do singles. If I want to do an album, I will later, but I'm going to do only singles because all my creativity goes into one thing. And yeah. that's why I think it's so explosive now because it's all one album's worth of creativity is into one song. For sure. For sure. Ethan, thank you for the tenor. Uh, for sure. I, I love that. It's, it's hard. We, we tried to like, we try to kind of talk the label into that and like they are, we're hesitant and we're doing yeah, things because like, they labels are scared. They are. And it's like, I get it. But at the same time, I'm like, just don't be just let, just let us, we kind of like met in the middle with the way we're doing things. Um, but it's like, still, it's like, I just don't, I'm the same. I don't fucking care about an album. I, I, I don't like, I don't like the whole uh, politics behind how their first album do first week. I hate it. Yeah. Like, of course it's not going to do good because nobody buys albums. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? So <laughs> like everybody's, this... everybody's left with like the, the, the feeling of like failure because you only sold 25,000 copies your first yeah. week. And it's like, has nothing to do with your first week. It's just, that's where that came from. How's your, how's, like, how's your fucking 20th week? Like, how's yeah. your, like, that's what it's about. It doesn't fucking matter, especially now because no one buys records. It's like, dude, what is the first week when, like, the majority of the records you're selling is, like, your vinyl? Right. That's like, the majority. Yes, yeah. exactly. We're like, oh, cool. We got one store. 
that's going to put our right. CDs in. Oh, we got Target. That's all that there is anymore. Yeah, you know I mean? people it's are like, still people are still like talking about how proud they are of their first week. It's like, nah, man. I don't care. Like, yeah, wait, wait, like two months. You know, yeah. see oh. where you're at. See where radio's at. See how the build is. Like, yeah, man, I don't, I don't fucking care. But you know, labels are labels, and they do, they do weird things. You're, I mean, yep. luckily, I think are you guys are, are you still with Epitaph? Yeah, still 15 so, years. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. I, have, I have a feeling he's. I mean, dude, he's a fucking old punk rock dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, he, he like, loves me. It's I, crazy. And I think that he fucking is probably down to do things differently because he doesn't. He, 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 he like lets me do stuff. I, I, it's pretty cool. Like it's he lets my ideas. Uh, come out and stuff he doesn't he's like okay cool yeah whatever you want to do yeah it's pretty tight actually so that's always been our only thing with i mean there's never been a label that's been like oh you guys have to do this or this or this like we've had pushback on some things but it's like no no remember we yeah that's not what we agreed to so no fuck you dude it, it's a blessing because that's a lot of labels are not like that man no they're like they got people in the studio sitting over your shoulder being like that's not catchy enough you imagine which is great no. great for creativity <laughs> wonderful for creativity <laughs> yeah yeah and they and the guy that's doing it has no idea what he's doing either dude you know? we, we had a moment and this is a fucking just a piece of shit moment uh when we were on hollywood and we were making an album the second record we did with hollywood and i mean they were a major and like they wanted fucking hits whatever we gave them to them wasn't a problem but like the dude was in the studio one day you're in the studio, you're like figuring shit out, like you're singing songs you've never like performed before, you're still getting the fucking gist. And I remember Al was in the studio and he's tracking. And our A and R dude's sitting there and he literally looks at the producer. We're sitting in the same room. And he's like, Yo, like you're gonna edit this, right? And that's so disrespectful. What the hell? And he's like, Yeah, bro, we're like tracking the shit. Like, we're gonna do a bunch of takes and we're figuring the fucking song out still like what do you mean and it was like you have to go like what are you doing like you're yeah. gonna ruin this entire day maybe this entire record yeah but, like what That's... are you talking about it's like waking someone up in the fucking morning and being like hey man like you're gonna brush your teeth right like yeah it's it's yeah it's 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 ridiculous that sounds very not good i couldn't i would probably freak out I yeah my other side would come out like get the fuck yeah. out of it would be so offensive oh yeah you might have got punched because of the same because at that point you're like well you're you don't care about being offensive I might as well be offensive too you're gonna edit this <laughs> well it's more like he he probably has no idea what the fuck he's talking about and yeah he's, he's he, like he's hears like untuned vocals untuned this yeah this guitar might be out of tune you're just trying to get your idea out and he's like yeah that doesn't sound like what I'm used to hearing because you're not in yeah. the process of it, man. No, no you know? this this is 1946, and uh, we got one take for this. So yeah, this is the one. <laughs> yeah. This is the yeah. one. We're all gonna sing this one a cappella. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking idiots. But anyway, <laughs> labels, man, they're funny. It's all good though. It's all good. But anyways, how much fucking time you got, bud? Uh, I'm gonna get off here at two, and I'm gonna go back to my stream. I think. Perfect. So I in got, two minutes. I got two more minutes. I have to go to the bathroom too. I, I'm holding it for you though. I have to go to the bathroom too. My <laughs> my entire band is coming on next at two. So, dude, yeah. I mean, I got this fucking dumb thing that I drank almost all of today. Bro, this is all today. Yeah. I'm not I, kidding. I, I need, drink a gallon of water a day, bro. Dude, you gotta fuck with one of these, bro. It gets you by time. Oh, you do it too. Yeah. Okay. You got yeah, it. Yeah, you get it, it helps you remember. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Right except, on, for, man. except for when you're streaming for 12 hours straight. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> you should do a subathon where you don't stop for 24 hours. Dude, and just keep subbing seven seven. Yeah. I love just it. Try it. Dude, you have a you have a different monster than a lot of people. Like your stream is nuts. Like your your daily goals and shit, your fans are fucking crazy, bro. So I, know, I love them so much. Yes, and they love nuts. you. They they've been talking about you that your band this entire time in the chat. So they all they're all aware of and uh so so i'll be yeah. here for 12 hours so when you're done all you guys <laughs> just come over to the b south stream and we'll hang out and have a good time <laughs> right on man dude ronnie it was a fucking pleasure man i hope to see you soon let's fucking write music let's hang out i would let's love fucking to yeah. grab a coffee whatever it is man uh you're you're good people and i feel like uh i don't know over the years i've i've always had my eye on you and and uh i I've appreciate enjoyed, that man I enjoyed this conversation yeah dude thank you oh yeah man Talk soon, yeah, all right? Congrats on your one year, man. Later. Thanks, buddy. We'll I appreciate see you it. Soon. All right, later. later.